This past Thursday was Latina Equal Pay Day, the day when Latina pay catches up to that of white non-Hispanic men from the previous year. It's been more than 50 years since the passing of the 1963 Equal Pay Act, but according to the organization Equal Pay Today, Latina women are typically paid about 55 cents to every dollar for their white male counterparts. Joining us now to discuss is Latin pop singer and actress Becky G. Becky, great to have you with us on the show today. Now, you recently partnered with Secret Deodorant, which we know has been campaigning for women's rights since the 1950s. So why did you decide to partner with them on this issue specifically? That's right. Um, I'm very proud to stand with Secret Deodorant for many reasons, um, beyond just being a fan of the products, but really what they stand for. Um, and especially with their initiative of Raise It Up and bringing awareness to the Latina pay gap. Me being a Latina myself and working in the entertainment industry, um, I even have had personal experience with the pay difference. And I think that when you put it in the perspective of what has been this year, 2020, and all of the things that it has revealed underneath the hood, um, you know, as far as discrimination, as far as racism, as far as all kinds of things. Um, COVID-19 is also one of those things. And I think COVID has revealed that we as Latino women, we've definitely carried a burden throughout this time. We are a lot of the essential and frontline workers. And, you know, when, when this 55 cents to every dollar it was already an issue. I mean, you, like I said, you put in the context of 2020, it's 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 become even more evident. Yeah, I mean, Becky, it's remarkable to think that Latina Equal Pay Day is so late in the year. It would, you know, hypothetically take this long to get equal pay as the white male counterparts, as we mentioned. But talk to me a little bit more. You mentioned the Raise It Up initiative by Secret. What are they doing to try to bring awareness to the, the gap in pay? And have you found that people are you know, surprised that there still is such a, such a distinction between Latina pay and otherwise? Yeah, I think a lot of people constantly um, are being reminded. Like I said, these aren't issues that are new, um, but we're just now living um, I guess a time that is very different for all of us, doesn't matter what community you come from or what class you identify with. Um, these are things that have been, like I said, very evident for, for a very long time. And so what's really cool about the Raise It Up initiative is Secret is actually offering a 45% pay decrease on the product. So there's a 45% discount uh, to help drive awareness to the 45% uh, pay difference and disparity in, in the Latina pay, which I think is really cool because it's a spin. We got to do um, basically like in, in the promotions that we made um, for our collaboration as well. It's like 45% of the, um, I, what do you call it? I guess the, the image is missing is also to represent the 45%. Um, so that's kind of that. And then they're also making uh, donations to the YWCA's uh, Workforce and Leadership Development Program uh, to support and empower, you know, our young Latina women, which I also think is really important because as an empowered woman, there's nothing more that I want to do than empower other women. That is great to hear, Becky. And obviously, you know, being in the film and TV and music industries yourself, still quite male dominated. There has been progress made in the past few years, but have you experienced discrimination? Have you had to fight for your right to get equal pay? What has your experience been like? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, first off, thank you for asking. I feel like we should definitely start normalizing these conversations um, to be able to bring awareness. And I think that for me personally, one of the most evident spaces that there is a huge difference is in touring. Um, you know, I've got signed at 14 years old and I've been hustling and bustling since I was a kid, basically. And I'm 23 years old today. And even still, you know, when a promoter wants to have you a female act on a show, you know, alongside your male counterparts, um, you can see the difference in our shows and the va production value and what our fees are compared to our male counterparts. And it's um, it's it's disappointing because at the end of the day, especially as an artist, you know, you want to give the absolute best to your fans. But when your competitors are male figures and then on top of that, their literal um, financial figures are bigger than yours, it's kind of like you got to make something out of nothing and you're expected to perform at the same level as everyone else sharing that stage with you. And when you, like I said, put that in a general context to a lot of women, you know, whether it's in an office or whether it's in, you know, an educational environment, we're constantly expected to perform at the same level, if not better. 
And then still the, the kickback of anything financially is always less. And so I, I think that for me personally, that's just been my experience, but I, I, I'm sure there's so many more stories out there, um, you know, that are a reflection of that same issue. And Becky, we do appreciate you sharing your story with us today and putting a light on this issue. Becky, thank you again for your time. That's singer and actress Becky G. Thanks again.